everybody and happy Tuesday. Do you know what tomorrow is? Who out there knows what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day and to celebrate that I'm going to read Pete the Cat the Great Leprechaun Chase. It's written by James Dean and it's published by HarperCollins and we want to thank them for allowing us to read this book to you today. So let's get started. And what do we see here? We see Pete and a beautiful rainbow, and we see a leprechaun. So let's find out what's gonna happen in this story. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, and Pete's teacher, Mr. G, is teaching about leprechauns. The only time you can catch one is on St. Patrick's Day. A leprechaun will bring you good luck, Mr. G says. Now, everyone in class wants a leprechaun. Pete gets a great idea. He will open a leprechaun catching business. What do you think about that? Hmm. St. Patrick's Day comes and Pete gathers some supplies. He hangs a sign above his stand. This will be easy, Pete thinks. Squirrel is Pete's first customer. I want a leprechaun, Squirrel says. I need good luck for my test. And do you see what this sign says? It says, Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. Okay. And this says B. So Squirrel needs some good luck. Do you think he's going to get it? Pete has a plan. He will follow a rainbow until he finds a leprechaun. Finally, Pete arrives at the end of the rainbow and finds Clover the leprechaun next to a pot of gold. Pete sneaks up behind Clover. Swoosh! But Clover is too fast. Did you think you could catch me so easily, he asks. Once there was a cat named Pete who thought nabbing some good luck would be neat. Then he happened upon a smart leprechaun who he'll find quite tricky to beat. Oh, isn't that a fun poem? Hmm, this might not be as easy as he thinks. Clover disappears in a puff of green smoke. Pete will need a new plan. So what do you think the new plan's gonna be? That afternoon, Gus visits Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. I want a leprechaun, Gus says. I need good luck for my band recital. Pete says, I'll see what I can do. Pete plans to lure Clover out with his music. He plays a jaunty song on his guitar. Before long, Clover dances over to Pete. Just a little closer, Pete thinks. Suddenly, Clover starts spinning around Pete. Round and round, Clover gets faster and faster. Do you think he's gonna catch him this time? Do you think he is? Let's find out. Oh no, Clover wraps up Pete with the rope. Pete has finally met his match, a crafty leprechaun he just can't catch. He'll never win, he better give in or find something else to snatch. Ooh, Clover's got some really clever poems, doesn't he? That evening, Callie visits Pete's lucky leprechaun catch, catchers. I want a leprechaun. I need good luck for my tennis match. Hmm, says Pete. St. Patrick's Day is almost over. There isn't much time left to catch a leprechaun, but Pete won't give up yet. Pete sets a trap for Clover. Before long, Clover tiptoes up to the trap and sniffs the air. Mmm, I love candy, he whispers, peering under the box. Pete waits very quietly. And do you see this? Do you see this in here? He's gonna try and lure him with all that candy. Does that seem like a good plan? Crash, Pete rushes over and checks underneath but it is empty. Clover skips away. 
Pete has tried many a plot, but still I haven't been caught. And isn't it dandy? I even got candy while Pete ends up with squat. Pete has an idea. He follows the trail of spilled candy to Clover's secret hideout. Do you think this time it's gonna work? Pete sneaks up behind Clover and swoosh! Pete finally catches Clover. Okay, so now what's gonna happen? Why do you want me, Clover asks. I'm helping my friends who need some extra luck, Pete says. Luck doesn't come from having a leprechaun, says Clover. You and your friends have each other. That already makes you as lucky as can be. Could Clover be right? Pete is one very lucky cat. A lucky cat doesn't need a leprechaun. So he lets Clover go. That was the nice thing to do, wasn't it? Pete decides he will be the good luck his friends need by helping them out himself. Pete helps Squirrel study for his test. Squirrel aces it. Pete helps Gus rehearse for his recital. Gus rocks it. And Pete helps Callie practice for her match. Callie wins it. Clover magically appears. Good job, Pete. I have one more poem for you. So wasn't Pete being a really kind friend? by helping them study and rehearse and practice. Wasn't that nice? So let's hear this final poem. While Clover played hide and seek, Pete learned something unique. The luck that you make beats luck that you take any old day of the week. Happy St. Patrick's Day. The end. I would love to know what you think about this story. So please let us know on our Instagram page. And if you're looking for some fun Pete the Cat activities and some things for St. Patrick's Day, be sure to check out our virtual story time on Wakelet. I will be back on Thursday. And since it's almost spring, I have a book about spring to share with you. So until then, have a good week and I'll see you soon.